Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. If this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using the Glowforge laser engraver. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Okay, I've been having this jewelry design that I've been wanting to share with y'all for a while now. But if you didn't know, I use Corel Draw for all my jewelry designs. And last week, I made some earring studs using only Glowforge print. Glowforge Print is basically a graphic software that's integrated into the Glowforge interface. And with this design, I created it in Corel Draw. But I want to show you how you can make this particular design in Glowforge Print. And it's super easy. And what I'm going to use in this project is mirror gold acrylic, pink acrylic, black glitter acrylic, silver glitter acrylic, gold jump rings, black jump rings, black rope necklace, gold rope necklace, masking paper. Everything that I just named off will be in the description below, right below the subscribe button. So let's head to the computer and make the design. This is Glowforge Print. First thing you wanna do is just go up here to this T and insert text. It's gonna bring up this right here. I would recommend finding a font that's kinda thick. This is the text that I'm going to use right here. It's Bowlby 1SC. So you go up here and you type in what you want. In this case, we're just gonna do an M and we're gonna go back we don't want to do the M and the S in the same box right here. We want to add another text layer. Go up here, click text again, and it's already selected on the font, and we're going to go with S, and we're going to type the S. We're going to change the size of it in a minute. We got our two fonts right here. You just want to make them the size that you want them to be. I want to have them like one inch in height. Go to the side. As you can see, I got it lined up like right at the three. So we're just gonna go down to the four and it's gonna make it one inch in height. And we wanna do the same thing to the S. Then you wanna go up here to where it says engrave and you just wanna change them to cut. Now we're gonna add the heart. So you wanna go up here to import artwork and you just wanna type in heart. And I notice that you wanna pick a style that's filled in. Like this is filled in, but this heart is not. It's gonna have that double line to it. Let me show you what I'm saying. So say I click this heart and let it upload. So you got this hard, but say you go to cut, so you got both lines. That's not what you want. So you want to pick a heart that's filled in like this one. So when you pick this one, and then when you go to cut, it's going to have the single line. So that's why you want to pick a design that's filled in. So you want to do the same thing. Just go up here to line it up on the side and make it the size that you want. So now we just got to add some circles to cut out into all of it. So just go up here to import artwork, go and type in circle. Same thing with the circle. You want to find one that's filled in like so. So then once you have the circle, you just want to make it small. Same thing, go over to change the engrave to cut. Basically we need six of these circles like to put around all these. So if you got a Mac, command C, command V and just command V until you get six of them, like so. So then you just take them and move them to where you want them to be. So now that you kinda can see, we might wanna go a little bit smaller. And that's what we're gonna do. And since this heart is gonna be the same heart that we're gonna put on the other one, so we're just gonna select the heart and go Command C, Command V. Make a copy of it and move it over like so. And we're gonna go up and do two more initials to go with this one. Okay, now that we got it all done, let's head to the laser, cut it out. One thing I would change about this that I might go back and change, I can make the circles a little smaller, but hey, it looks really good. And that black glitter acrylic is it's, it's looking really good on this. Now, you know how I feel about this, that mirror acrylic. It always just, just be hitting right on point. It always looks good. 
and there you have it. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next project. Peace.